Hello everyone. Now we will study types of fermenters. So what is fermenter? Fermenter is also called as a bioreactor. Now we will see definition of fermenter. The industrial microorganism required to grow in a large vessel containing considerably, considerable quantities of nutrient media by maintaining favorable conditions. These containers are called as fermenters. So in the industries, the large vessels are used for the fermentation process and these vessels are nothing but the fermenter. So generally the fermenters are used for the growth of prokaryotic and bioreactors are used for the growth of eukaryotic. The process of fermentation is same in the both equipments but here just these are classified according to the microorganisms. Now we will see the types of fermenters. Firstly, the fermenter is broadly classified into two types that is submerged fermenters and surface fermenters. These submerged fermenters are further classified as a mechanically stirred fermenter, forced convection fermenter and pneumatic fermenter. This mechanically stirred fermenter is classified into batch operated fermenter and continuous stirred tank fermenter and surface fermenter is classified as a tray fermenter and packed bed column fermenter. Now we will see one by one all the fermenters. Firstly, first fermenter is the submerged fermenter. In submerged fermenters, the microorganisms are dispersed in nutrient medium at maintained had maintained the environmental conditions on the basis of mechanism of addition uh, agitation fermenters are further classified as follows the first class is mechanically stirred fermenters these fermenters are equipped with a mechanical agitator so as to maintain homogeneity and rapid dispersion and mixing of materials. Mechanically stirred fermenters are stirred tank fermenters, stirred multi-stage fermenter, paddle wheel reactor and stirred roof reactor. So these mechanically stirred fermenters are further have two types that is batch operated fermenter and continuous stirred tank fermenter. We will see this. So this is the first type that is the batch fermenter. So this stirred tank fermenter is mostly applicable for fermenter in fermentation industry for the batch processes. The main advantage of this fermenter is the flexibility in the design and is used in the range of 1 liter to 100 ton capacity sizes. The agitators consist of one or more impellers mounted on a shaft. Different types of blades are used according to the requirements. It is rotated with the help of electric motor. And this is the diagram of computer controlled stirred tank batch fermenter and it is called as a computer controlled because it it have the control of the computer and it is connected to the electric supply. The second type is the continuous fermentation. Continuous fermentation means here the process of fermentation is continue in one vessel. It is basically the same as batch fermenter. However, in addition of feed and overflow devices, steady state condition can be achieved by chemostatic principles. In continuous fermentation, fresh medium is added continuously in the fermentation vessel and in other the medium is withdrawn for recovery of fermentation products. A continuous fermenter can be conducted in various techniques.
so these are three techniques that is single stage recycle and multi stage single stage firstly we will see in this the single fermenter is inoculated and then kept in continuous operation by balancing the input and output culture media in the first diagram in the first we can see here first equipment in which input is placed into the fermenter and by the output the product is obtained so here only one input and output is present now any recycling of the product will takes place in the single stage fermenter opposite to that in the recycle fermenter here we can use the microorganisms which are unused that's why they will not get wasted so recycle fermenter contains the one input one output but that output is further again connected with the same fermented where the unused microorganisms are recycled the process is same as for the single stage but here the addition is that is recycling of the microorganism the third is the multi stage fermenter in this the more than one or two fermenters are connected to each other here the for the three of the containers only one inlet and one outlet is present we will supply inlet to the first container and from that first container the inlet is connected to the second container and second container is connected to the third container so outlet of first container is connected to second and outlet of second container is connected to third container so that's why this is called as a multi stage fermenter because here we are using the unused unused microorganisms again and again the second type is the forced convection fermenters in forced convection fermenters the agitation is affected by using pump instead of a mechanical stirrer so this is the major difference between the mechanical fermenter and the forced convection fermenters loo fermenter and deep jet fermenters are available involving liquid movement and gas entertainer in the loo fermenter gas distribution devices is subsidiary vessel so here two different types of forced convection fermenters are present that is air lift fermenter and second one is bubble column fermenter we will see this one by one so this is the air lift fermenter or the bio reactors air lift fermenters are further classified as draft tube or internal loop fermenter and external loop fermenter here the loop is present either internally or externally into the bio reactor or the fermenter according to that this is classified that is internal and the external in the gas lift fermenters internal liquid circulation in the vessel is achieved by sparking the vessel with gas fluid volume of vessel is divided into two interconnected zones by draft tube air is typically filled through sprager ring into into the bottom of the central draft that controls the circulation of air and the media the air lift external loop reactor system is used for circulation of direct air and liquid throughout the vessel this system consists of riser and an internal down comer which are connected at the bottom and the top respectively the injected air at the bottom of the riser creates gas bubble 
that rise through fermentation time and the heavier solution descends through the down corner. External loop air lift reach system has some advantages as compared to the standard air lift. So this is the information about the air lift bioreactor. The lift is the bubble column and deep jet fermenter. So bubble column reactor is a cylindrical column in which the gas is spashed at the bottom through nozzle on perforated or porous distributor plates. The gas bubbles rise through the liquid in the vessel and may be redispersed by suction of horizontal perforated baffle plates. Temperature control is all maintained by the temperature jacket or the internal coils. So here this is the information about the bubble column and bubble column fermenter. Now we will that is the pneumatic fermenter. Pneumatic fermenter involves fluid with suspended particulate by catalyst or cell particles. So fluidized bed bioreactor is an example of the pneumatic fermenter. So this bioreactor used in the fermentation involving fluid with suspended particulate biocatalyst or cell particles or microbial flux. The cell particles are fluidized with the upcoming stream of liquid. Top part of the fluidized fermenter is expanded to reduce the superficial velocity of fluidized bed. Solid set easily in sitting zone and then dropped into fluidized zone. So here you can see that the solid particles will start to settle down in the setting zone and then they are dropped into the fluidized zone. Here the pump is attached at the bottom, the liquid outlet is present at the top and here the settling zone is present where the solid particles we will start to settle down. The field is attached at the first after that pump is attached due to that with the help of the pump the field starts to incorporate at the spin into the bioreactor. Surface fermenters, we will see. So, microbial cells are cultured on the surface layer of the nutrient medium held in a dish or tray and is generally called as surface culture system or supported growth system. This technique is commonly used for production of citric acid from asparagus niger and nicotinic acid. Microbial films can be developed on the surfaces of suitable packing medium. The examples of surface fermenters are packed bed column fermenter and tray fermenter. Packed bed column fermenter. This is type of surface culture bioreactor. This is packed bed fermenter. And this is type of surface culture bioreactor in which solid particles form the packed bed on which enzymes are immobilized. A liquid nutrient is allowed to flow continuously through the packed bed. Metabolic products are released in the fluid and removed on the outflow. When the film of microorganism is formed on the surface of packing material, then this is called as a film bioreactor. So here, packed of bed column fermenter is present. Here we can see the equipment at the top. The culture broth is spread on the packed of bed. And at the end, at the bottom, the outlet is there for the product. This is simple and easy equipment to use. The next is the tray fermenter as a continuous process. 
In tray fermenter, solid as well as liquid media are used for the fermentation. If liquid medium is used, cells are allowed to float easily and to make the process continuous. If solid medium is used for tray fermenter, then the process is called as solid state fermentation. Solid state fermentation is defined as the growth of microorganism on moist solid material in the absence of free, free flowing water. These processes have been used for the production of antibiotics, alkaloids, enzymes, organic acid and also for the bioremediation of hazardous compounds. So, this is the tray fermenter which contains the many of the trays in the equipment. So here you can use the solid as well as the liquid material. At the bottom there is one knob for the waste, one is for the air outlet, one is for the condensed site, one is for the air inlet. And at the top the feed is, uh, feed knobs are present in which we can use we can supply the feed. Another is for the inoculate, inoculated materials. The <coughs> steam water outlet is there. Nutrient medium are placed into the trays. So this is the tray fermenter. You know all the all the parts and the mechanism of the parts. Thank you. Here we are end up with the types of fermenters.